Good morning at Tarbell Distillery. Today we bring you a special treat. Uh, the man that started it all, uh, Zindi Tarabello, <laughs> Seymour Tarabello in Detroit. Here he is. Tell the family tale and uh, history and alcohol. Well, I was born in 1933, so maybe towards the end of uh, Prohibition. And I remember a little bit about it. And this much I can tell you that most of the homes were involved in making some form of liquor, whether it was bathtub gin or it was something else, brandies maybe or something. But they would put it up in regular bottles and it, they would try to sell it and they use as much as they could in the home. But the excess, they would take and bottle and they would put it into the baby carriages of that day. Nobody really would start to look in people's baby carriage. They figured that the old carriage was the type that had blankets in it there and it had like a half a hood over the top. So they were able to, to put many bottles of, of their home brewed liquor into the carriages and then covered with blankets and thinking, you know, this man is taking his little baby for a walk and nothing very, very innocent like. And this went on for, I don't know, until the, until the revoke prohibition. And that's really basically what I remember. And probably my grandfather of Shalom and others probably maybe his children there, his sons could have taken a ready into to, to do this as well. Because it was a, a good way to supplement whatever you made and what you made in those days during the depression wasn't too much. So more than likely they did quite a bit of that. Thank you. That's about all I can remember. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you.